When you look at those four points, which I'll just run through quite briefly, um, Clive's already touched on them. Product quality and consistency. Um, well, I've got the quality word, consistency, reliability. Um, so you're getting the same message there from two speakers. One of the key advantages of being able to transport wines and spirits in bulk is the ability to work in partnership with the winery, the distiller, the shipper, the freight forwarder. You're working in bulk. There's obviously quite large quantities of goods involved, so it follows there's fairly decent quantities of money involved. So it's worth people's while to come up with an arrangement that makes sure that the quality, consistency of product are known at the start of the journey they're monitored throughout the journey and they can be measured and understood at the end of the journey so that you get that consistency, reliability, quality all the way through. Um, you're not relying on um, the lifespan of goods that have been cased and kept in case uh, in bottle for a, a period of time. There's a cost implication. There'll be many people here who ship in bulk the maths is pretty simple. Um, my maths tells me you can get about double the quantity of liquid into a flexi tank than you can in a similar sized container of cased goods. So um, you can ship more for your money. Um, it's not a hard equation. There's an environmental benefit in that if you can ship more, you can get it on a bigger ship, you can take it maybe on a different route, you can bring uh, a number of containers of similar products at the same time. So being a player in a market of that size gives you the ability to manage your supply chain more effectively and make some cost savings as well as some environmental benefits of not using the same amount of fuel per bottle that you might use. The final point on this slide, the proximity to market bit. Again, when I was a civil servant, um, we, we had a rule of thumb that if you stood still long enough, the same old arrangements would come round again. Um, but there, there was a, a, a long-standing drive to push down spending decisions and operational decisions to the point nearest the um, nearest the point where those services were being delivered. So it's the same here. If you're shipping in bulk, you can put your bottling operation nearest to the market where it's being delivered, to the point where it's most convenient for your customers, to the point where it's most convenient for their customers, whether those customers are wholesale customers or whether they're retail customers, it matters not at this stage, but you're, you're able to produce the goods in one place and you're then able to um, put them together in another where it's more cost effective to do that. As we'll see in a moment, you can't do that with every product, um, but the proximity to market issue, I think, enables you to do a lot of your industrial processing at a point near to your customer their customer.